the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. I remember I was going to a conference uh, to speak on evangelism, and I think the Lord felt I really wasn't serious enough. I was, I was in Ontario, and I was traveling back to Michigan, and I had to fly out the next morning. And as I made my way down the road through southern Ontario, you know, I stopped here and there, and eventually I'm coming to the border, and it's really backed up. It's a long way back, and, and we're slowly working our way towards the bridge. And just as I draw up to talk to the customs agent, I, I reach for my wallet, and it's not there. Well, I, I get out of the car, I look everywhere, I can't find it. And so if I can't get across the border, I can't get my flight out in the morning, and I'm thinking about all this and frantic, and so I have to turn around and go back, and I start driving back, and I drive back 30 miles, and I stop at this little place where I had bought a burger, and, and now they haven't seen it, and so I dig through their trash looking for my wallet and can't find it. And then I, I drive another 40 miles back, and the place where I stop to get a cold drink, and the place where I bought it's closed. And then I, I go over, there's a Tim Horton, thank the Lord, and, and uh, they, they say to me, if it was handed in, there's a manager here. And I think, well, that's great. So they go back, and, and the manager comes around the corner, and she says, what's your name? And at that moment, I thought, there's hope, you know. And she, she pulls out my wallet. And as I got back in the car, began to head back to the airport, the Lord said to me, Nicholson, would you dig through the trash for a lost soul? Would you travel 60 miles out of your way for a lost soul? You'd do it for a lost wallet, wouldn't you? Would you do it for a soul? You feel like that about people when they're lost? And I tell you, it was just the Lord's little parable to me that, that when people are lost, they're really lost. They're lost from God and then oh, to be saved. That moment of joy, looking at that wallet, and I think, do I feel like that? When we hear about a soul being saved, oh, that's nice. Or do I rejoice, you know, in the story of the prodigal, time and time again, this is the word, rejoice with me. The joy is too much. It overflows heaven. And God says, I want you to, I want you to get in on the joy of this. The lost is found.